Thank you for joining us for News 4 San Antonio at 10. I'm Alyssa Vega in for Jonathan Martinez tonight. Our top story, Mexican Independence Day or El 16 de Septiembre is tomorrow, a holiday traditionally marked by parties, fireworks and food. Car meetups are also a big part of the tradition, but in recent years, those meetups were overshadowed by street racers who use the holiday to cause trouble. Jordan Elder with the News 4 I team joins us with what law enforcement groups are doing to prevent these issues and the new tools they can use to do that. The scene is tough to forget. Cars gathering and taking over Highway 90 on the west side. This was back in 2020 and car clubs say they're taking precautions to make sure their events don't end like this. I mean, those guys are hardcore speed freaks, you know, that that love racing. Bob Arevalo is a member of the Push Rods Car Club. He says they're in the business of tradition, not trouble. We're just old hot rodders that like, you know, our, our cars to cruise in. Of course, we like to step on the gas every now and then, but no racing, no uh, dangerous stuff. This past session, lawmakers took aim at those who prefer the dangerous route. This new law gives police and prosecutors powerful tools to deter illegal street racing and street takeovers. These two laws make it easier for police to seize and impound the cars involved. Not only will you get in trouble for participating in the street racing, you'll also get in trouble for recording video of it and posting it. The Bear County Sheriff's Office tells us their teams are in full force to deter and crack down on illegal operations like these. And while they hope the new laws deter racing and street takeovers, they'll be ready to respond if anything happens. The San Antonio Police Department has been very vocal about this issue in the past, but they did not respond to our questions today about what they're doing to prepare for possible takeovers. Reporting live, I'm Jordan Elder with the News 4i team.